the morning glory, basically, what I expected when I go in was going to be broadcast news light story is a young upcoming TV executive is given a, a daybreak show that she's going to take over and turn around. The show is, its ratings are down the toilet. Diane Keaton is holding it all together with her co-host who is very, very slimy and she's ending up doing kooky um, uh, cooking. Uh, features. Cookie cooking. Cookie, cookie cooking features. And uh, what happens is the new producer comes in and finds out that Harrison Ford, the Pulitzer Prize winning uh, journo at this point, is still on contract to the station and has got another two years to play out, which he's not doing anything at all. He seems to be on permanent gardening leave. She fires the other co host and says, Right, you, Pulitzer Prize winning journalists, are going to team up with Diane Keaton to present Daybreak. So, whole setup is one of them is somebody who's done a lot of early daytime television, the other one is a Pulitzer Prize winner. They're grumpy. Here's a clip. Can I just say one thing? That's our job. I know you think you're above it, and of course, you were above it before you got fired, but now you guess what? You're down in the muck with the rest of us, Mike. And yet I still have standards, unfortunately, for you. Suppose I don't have standards? Sure you do. When you got your pap smear on air, you wore a silk robe. Okay! Classy touch. That and we're it. back you know in I five. Had you. Four, I had it! Three, and two. Go to. One. Dissolve and two. Tomorrow on the show, Colleen will make the British classic Bangers and Mash with Chef Gordon Ramsay. That's right, I will. Because you refuse to do it, Mike. Yes, it's beneath you. Well, that and it's tough to get between you and a sausage. So. <laughs> sausage, that's a good one. Yes, and also you are a fatuous, pretentious idiot. So there's that. A fatuous idiot who makes three times what you make. Well, that's our show for this morning. See you tomorrow, folks. Harrison Ford. I quite like that. Yeah, well, exactly. And here's the funny thing. I went in thinking, I love broadcast news. It's going to be broadcast news. Like, I mean, broadcast news itself was accused of being network-like, which is incidentally completely unfair. Broadcast news is just an enduring classic of the movie. But you know what? I laughed a lot more in Morning Glory than I thought I was going to. I really did think, OK, you know, grin and bear it. It's going to be OK. But I laughed quite a lot. And I was sitting next to James King, and it was bizarre because I really hadn't expected to enjoy it like I did and I started laughing and once I'd started laughing once I'd realised that actually there were going to be gags in this I was going to find funny the it all became all the funny so I am willing to accept that there is a possibility I mean I think you know it's obviously it's fluff and it's candy floss and it's not broadcast news it is broadcast news like bloody bloody blah all that stuff fine but I really found myself giggling and chuckling and guffawing in a couple of moments I laughed out loud and the funny thing is firstly Harrison Ford because you know there's been a lot of stuff about Harrison Ford being a you know he's a, he's very doer and he's a, you know he's not he's not meant to be the you know the most exciting interview in the world although frankly I mean people seem to be surprised that he's not Indiana Jones when you meet him but you know he's Harrison Ford he's an actor he does he does make it difficult for you though he's have one, you interviewed him? yes he's not one oh, of those right. actors who sort of goes out of his way to make I mean if you were to what compare, did you interview him for well, I can't remember. This is a very long time ago. But if you compare it with, for example, the aforementioned Tom, Tom Hanks, who is just a delight yeah. and makes you think that every the, the interview that you've just done is the, the best, only yes. piece of promotion he's going to do. Yeah. Harrison Ford just sits there and kind of, he talks like that he in does. that clip. He, he, he just does. mumbles. But it's a terrific piece of casting because to get somebody who is literally, who appears to be not trying, mean, his voice gets lower and he gets more and more miserable and actually funnily enough the gag works one of the reasons it works so well and I think this is important to remember is that although Harrison Ford gets the laughs he gets the laughs because Diane Keaton is such a brilliant comic fool I mean the I know sometimes people think that Diane Keaton, first wife stuff actually, which I rather liked, Diane Keaton sometimes in recent work has done some work which I haven't liked at all. But you look back to the classic you know, period of her comedies, I mean, not Mr. Goodbar obviously not being comedy, but then you look to all the stuff that she did with Woody Allen, the kind of the great golden... And she is a terrific comedian. And the fact of the matter is that the reason that he manages to get away with doing that <laughs> performance is because her stuff is so sparky. And he's basically playing Eeyore in the same way that Eeyore is the, the funniest... No, thing. Eeyore... Eeyore He's not. He's not. He's angrier than Eeyore. Eeyore is not. I tell you what. He's closer to. He's closer to Marvin, the paranoid android from uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It he's is just fed up with operating just, lift doors. Yeah, fed up. That whole thing. Here am I, brain, brain the size, size of a planet, and you send me to open the lift door. I'm not boring you, am I? Well, it's like that, but angrier and edgier and nastier. And whilst I accept that Morning Glory is nothing but fluff, it was very entertaining fluff, and I had a smile on my face for most of it. it didn't outstay its welcome. Obviously, they tried to tie everything up in, in the end. They have to, but it was much more fun than it could have been. And I laughed, and I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, 
quite a lot. Why, why, but why would that be embarrassing? Because, I said because I kind of was thinking, all the time I was thinking, I think, well, yes, it is broadcast news light, and broadcast news is such a great piece of work, and anything anything that comes anywhere near that, I sort of feel like you're in dangerous Did territory. you love more than James King? Yes, I did, yeah. Yeah, although I think he enjoyed it, because at the end of it, I said, well, that was so much better than I expected. And he went, yeah. OK, so the key is, go in with low expectations, and you might have a good time. Y yes, but I... I mean, that's what I'm trying to say. I went in with low expectations. It may be that I laughed. That was what I was trying to say at the beginning. I may have laughed more because I was caught off guard by how funny I found it.